Imagine this for a second. You're floating in absolute nothingness. No light, no sound, no time, not even space. Then, in a split second, boom. Everything that exists, from blazing stars to the tiniest speck of dust, bursts into being in an event so colossal it shapes reality as we know it. That's the mystery we're diving into today. How did the universe begin? And where is it headed? Buckle up for an epic journey to the edge of the cosmos, packed with mind-blowing revelations that'll make you rethink your very existence. So, grab a coffee, get comfy, and come along. This story is out of this world. Before we dive in, I want to invite you to join our cosmic community. If you love unraveling the universe's mysteries as much as I do, hit that subscribe button and turn on the notification bell. It's quick, and together we'll soar through galaxies, black holes, and beyond. Your presence here means the world, and I'm thrilled to have you on this adventure. Now, let's get to the heart of it, the birth of the universe. Modern science points to a monumental event called the Big Bang which happened about 13.8 billion years ago. But don't picture the Big Bang as just any explosion, like fireworks on New Year's Eve. No way! It was far stranger and more fascinating. Imagine an infinitely tiny point, smaller than an atom, insanely hot and dense, containing everything that would become the universe, every galaxy, every planet, even you watching this video, that point began expanding at a mind-boggling speed, creating space and time itself. Yes, time was born right then. Before that, there was no before. Mind blown, right? In the first moments after the Big Bang, the universe was pure chaos. Think of a boiling cosmic soup filled with subatomic particles zipping around at trillions of degrees. No stars, no planets, just raw energy and particles in a frenzy. But as the universe expanded, it cooled, and those particles started coming together, like pieces of a cosmic puzzle. First, simple atoms like hydrogen and helium formed. Millions of years later, gravity pulled those atoms into clumps, creating the first stars and galaxies. That's when the universe started taking shape. But how do we know this actually happened? It's not just a cool story scientists made up. There's solid evidence backing the Big Bang Theory, and it's as jaw-dropping as the idea itself. The first big clue is something called the cosmic microwave background radiation. Think of it as the echo of the Big Bang, a faint glow still lingering across the entire universe. In 1965, two scientists Arno Penzias and Robert Wilson stumbled upon this radiation by accident while tinkering with an antenna. They picked up a strange noise coming from every direction in the sky. And that noise was actually the oldest light in the universe, emitted when it was just 380,000 years old. It's like hearing the universe's baby cries. Another clue is the universe's expansion. In 1929, Astronomer Edwin Hubble made a game-changing discovery. Galaxies are moving away from each other, as if the universe is a balloon being inflated. If you rewind that process, all the galaxies trace back to a single point in the past, the Big Bang moment. Plus, the universe's chemical makeup seals the deal. The amounts of hydrogen and helium we see today match exactly what we de expect from a universe that started with a hot, dense expansion. It's like the universe left its fingerprints for us to find. Now, here's the million-dollar question. What was there before the Big Bang? This is where science gets a bit speculative because we're pushing the limits of what we can understand. Some physicists say the question doesn't even make sense since time began with the Big Bang, so there was no before. It's like asking what's north of the North Pole. Still, there are mind-bending ideas out there. One is the cyclic universe theory, 
which suggests our universe might be just one in an infinite series of expansions and contractions. Another is the multiverse hypothesis. Maybe there are countless other universes, each with its own laws of physics, and ours is just one of them. These ideas lack solid proof, but they're like an invitation to dream the impossible. Meanwhile, quantum physics steps in to help us grasp how the universe might have sprung from nothing. In the quantum world, a vacuum isn't T truly empty. It S buzzing with energy fluctuations that pop in and out of existence. Some scientists think one of these fluctuations could have sparked the Big Bang, creating space, time, and matter from a bubble of energy. It's a wild idea, but it fits with what we know about particles on tiny scales. There's more. Right after the Big Bang, the universe went through a phase called cosmic inflation. For a fraction of a second, it expanded faster than the speed of light, stretching space like a rubber band. This rapid growth explains why the universe is so uniform today, with galaxies spread out evenly. Without inflation, the cosmos would be a much messier place. Gravity also played a starring role in this story. After inflation, it acted like a cosmic sculptor, pulling gas clouds together to form stars and planets. Without gravity, the universe would just be a scattered soup of particles. And let ES not forget the laws of physics, like electromagnetism and nuclear forces, that gave the universe its structure. These laws are so finely tuned that if they were even slightly different, life as we know it wouldn't exist. That raises a big question. Was the universe designed to support life? Or are we just an incredibly lucky cosmic accident? All right, friend, now you know the universe kicked off with an epic event, the Big Bang, and that gravity, quantum physics, and a dash of mystery shaped everything that exists. But the story doesn't end there. Let's explore what's happening with the universe today and what the future holds. Will it keep growing forever? Or is a more dramatic fate in store? Before we go on, I'll invite you again to join our cosmic family. If you're loving this journey, give this video a like, hit subscribe, and ring that bell. It's a small gesture that helps us keep bringing you awesome content like this. Let's unravel the universe's secrets together. Today, we know the universe isn't just expanding, it's speeding up. That's right. Galaxies are drifting apart faster and faster, like someone's flooring the cosmic accelerator. This discovery, made in the late 1990s, stunned scientists and earned a Nobel Prize. But what's driving this speed up? The answer is one of science's biggest mysteries, dark energy. This strange force makes up about 70% of the universe, but we don't know what it is. Some describe it as a property of space itself, pushing galaxies apart. Others think it might be something entirely new. What we do know is that dark energy is shaping the universe's fate, and cracking its code could reveal what's next. Then there's dark matter, another cosmic puzzle. Unlike regular matter, which forms stars, planets, and us, Dark matter doesn't emit or absorb light, making it invisible. But we know it's there because its gravity affects how galaxies spin and cluster. It's estimated to make up about 27% of the universe, while regular matter, everything we can see, is just 5%. It's humbling to think we're made of such a tiny fraction of the cosmos, isn't it? With dark energy pushing the universe apart, and dark matter holding galaxies together, the cosmos is in a tug of war. So, where is all this headed? There are three main possibilities for the universe's fate, each more fascinating and a bit eerie than the last. First is the Big Freeze, or Great Cooling. In this scenario, the universe keeps expanding forever until stars burn out and fade. Galaxies drift so far apart that the sky goes dark, leaving a cold, empty, silent universe. It's a bit somber, 
but it's the most likely outcome based on what we know. The second possibility is the Big Crunch, or Great Collapse. Here, gravity overpowers dark energy, slowing the expansion until everything collapses back into a single point, a reverse Big Bang. It'd be the end of everything, but some scientists speculate this could spark a new Big Bang, birthing a fresh universe. The third scenario is an oscillating universe, where expansion and collapse repeat forever, like cosmic breathing. Each fate hinges on what we learn about dark energy and gravity. And science is still far from a final answer. As we ponder the future, it's worth reflecting on what the universe means to us. Its origin isn't just a scientific question. It touches something deep within. Why are we here? What's our place in this vast tapestry of stars? These questions have followed humanity since our ancestors gazed at the constellations in wonder. In a way, modern science carries on that tradition, but with telescopes, supercomputers, and boundless curiosity. Today, projects like the James Webb Space Telescope let us peer deeper into the universe, egg s past than ever before. We're seeing galaxies formed just millions of years after the Big Bang like flipping through a cosmic photo album. And who knows? Maybe one day we'll find we're not alone. The search for alien life continues, and every new exoplanet discovered brings us closer to knowing if we re-unique or one of billions of civilizations. For now, cosmology's greatest gift is perspective. When you realize we're made of stardust, that every atom in your body came from a star that exploded billions of years ago. The world feels both bigger and more connected. We're part of the universe, and it's part of us. So, next time you look up at the night sky, remember, you're gazing at your own story. So, friend, what did you think of this cosmic journey? I hope you're as awestruck as I am by the universe's secrets. If this video sparked your curiosity, inspired you, or just made you think, hit that subscribe button and join our community. Your support fuels our mission to keep exploring space's mysteries. And there's more. In the comments, tell us what you thought of this video, what you learned, or if you've ever had a stargazing moment that changed how you see the world. Your story could inspire others, so don't hold back. Let's build a galaxy of ideas and curiosity together.